Hello some people and all the Phoenix OS lovers. Welcome back to my channel the beginning.np and today in this video upon the request of many valuable viewers I'm going to show you how to get 60 FPS constantly that is also in the games like PUBG. So don't worry guys even if you have low end PC or high end PC you are going to get 60 FPS constantly in your game while playing by the use of the tools today i'm going to talk about that is gl tools and an app called bagt that you're going to find from play store so no worries guys gl tools link i'm going to provide on the description too you can download it from there and then BAGT you have to install it from Play Store so guys go to your Play Store first of all and then search BAGT you are going to get it Battlegrounds Advanced Graphics Tools and install it and guys first of all let's go for the settings of GL Tools in my last video I had shown the combo settings of L Speed and GL Tools from that also we get lagless gaming but that will give you only 30 FPS so today in this video I'm going to show you that how can you get 60 FPS by using GL tools and BAGT. So let's not delay and open GL tools. And if you are installing GL tools for the first time, then you may experience one quick auto reboot. But don't worry, after reboot, you can open it again. We are here on the settings of GL tools. Now select PUBG Mobile by searching. You can get in the list of this app. So let me select it and then. You have to follow me as I do here, enable custom settings for this app, you have to check it and go down, you can get optimized GLSL shaders and here also you have to check it and on the textures don't touch any settings, go to FPS counter, use FPS counter, make it on screen and then FPS location, make it bottom right or anywhere you want. So after this you have to select use fake GPU info, use fake CPU RAM info also and then after go to use a template and here you can get many more templates available that is for fake GPU. So guys in my last video Tegra 4 was selected for lagless gaming obviously that will give us smooth gaming but the FPS will only be 30 fps so here what you have to select is gpu sgx 544mp so don't select any other available options only select sgx 544mp after selecting you can get here a fake gl version here we have open gles 2.0 which is not supported by pubg so you have to change it into open gles 3.0 after that click on ok and all the settings of gl tool has been done already Close it and let's open BAGT that is our main app here for today. So the interface of BAGT is like this here in graphics quality we can get a smooth balance so if you have a high end PC and your processor is like i3, i5 or more than that then you can go for balance or SD or SDR even but here if you have low end PC then select smooth and then go to resolution. In resolution also for low end PC we have low and medium two options for high end PC you can select high or even ultra two. So let me select medium here for now and then color style make it colorful or classic that's your choice. So let me select colorful and then frame rate obviously you have to select 60 fps to get constant 60 fps while gaming. So after that we have sound enhancement high and light effects is not showing up because we are at a smooth setting if we change it to SD then we can get light effects too. So let it be none and let's go back graphics quality let's make it smooth and then guys let's go for other settings also here we have shadow quality if we have balance and SD and more than these features then we can get this activated but for a smooth we don't have shadow quality it doesn't affect the game much so let it be like this and then let's go for anti-aliasing so anti-aliasing let it be disabled that can make your performance good so let it be disabled after this graphics API click on open gel because in GL tools we had got the graphics version as OpenGL 3.0 so it must be OpenGL after that detail render distance so if you have a good CPU and good RAM also you can make it high to get many distant renders also nicely but if you have low end PC then uh, make it low okay that, because that can handle only low settings for BAGT so after this all the things are done before clicking apply you have a save button on the top left corner so click on save button so that every time you open BAGT you don't need to change all the settings so you can directly click on apply so now after saving 
we can click on apply and then we may get advertisement so that advertisement can be skipped right after five seconds so no worries for that advertisement now here directly we have close option now here we can get run game button so let's click on run game and wait for the loading of the game so we are going to change all the settings are from low to high and then after medium and then after ultra and extreme so that how much fps we can get in each and every setting we can have a quick review of that also and here one of the good option is you can close the VAGT app already if the game is open finally after opening after the loading screen you can close the VAGT tool so no worries all the settings are already applied from that VAGT so you don't need to make it open all the time because all the resources it is better to give on our game rather than in other apps so here we have the fps that is paused due to the loading screen in loading screen it may fluctuate but we can get all the fps review from all the settings that we are going to have after a while okay guys finally we have the game opened already and we are getting the FPS up to 30 FPS so let's see our setting why we are getting up to 30 FPS maximum so let's go to graphics and we have setting like smooth and high so now you can see our ultra and extreme mode of frame rate is also unlocked already by the user BAGT if we don't use BAGT then we would get only smooth and medium so we have all the settings here unlocked to the extreme so let's check one by one and guys let me tell you one thing my screen recorder is causing problem on frame drop so let me record this all the video after watch from my another device so that we can get all the correct measurement of frame rate per second so guys let me close my screen recorder and let's check the settings properly that how much fps we are going to get on each and every frame rate options here so first of all i'm going to close my screen recorder from here okay after closing so let's uh, check from low so if we make a smooth and low then what happens let's go to okay and let's click so how much we are getting fps let me tell you we are getting 20 fps on smooth and low settings so now let's change it to medium and what happens let's go here also smooth and medium is going to give us up to 25 fps so you can see here now let's go to high settings and let's see this one also how much we are going to get the fps so high and then ok now let's click on ok one more time so smooth and high is going to give us 30 fps constantly you can see on the screen also guys now smooth and ultra let's select smooth and ultra 2 now okay and then again okay so in smooth and ultra settings as we can see we have got 40 fps already so smooth and ultra is going to give us 40 fps and then one more thing let me tell you guys it is most important to have strong wi-fi connection and a good cpu and ram also like at least 4 gb to get maximum fps if it is 8 gb then that is the best so finally let's check out our extreme setting and then what happens So we can see it is gradually increasing from 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 and 50 plus also we are getting that means obviously guys we are going to get 60 fps constantly if you have a strong cpu then it's better if you have low end cpu also then no problem if you have good internet connection as long as you have good data connection or wi-fi then you are going to get stable fps that is also up to 60 fps by using the tool BAGT. and guys let me tell you that Finally, whenever you want to open your game and you want to play the game, then you need to open it through BAGT. Don't directly open through this icon or game icon. Then you have to open the BAGT app and only then click on apply and then after a while click on run game. So always open the game from BAGT app and then guys, I hope you liked my video. So if you have liked my video, then please subscribe my channel and then hit the bell icon so that whenever I make new videos regarding Phoenix OS or any new updates, then all this video will be at your fingertip. So guys, thank you for watching this video and this much for today. I'm going to make other videos also that will be useful and I'm going to upload other videos as soon as possible.
so guys till my next video comes uh, watch my videos and you may try all the settings if you find useful like my video and then do comment if you get any kind of confusion while applying the settings or while installing the apps so this much for today thank you for watching my video bye bye have a good time